For over 48 years in Hillsborough County, there has been an organization striving to help children and families achieve school readiness and self-sufficiency. Hillsborough County Head Start began with this simple concept, give children and families without economic advantages a head start at success and we will create a stronger community. It's much more than child care. Head Start offers the benefits of healthy meals, committed teachers, and engaged parents that make decisions to improve services for their children. Head Start to me means foundation. A wonderful program. A chance to grow a, a better start. Head Start is infusing them with all of the tools that they need. Give back to my community. The word family. I could not ask for more. Something that made all the difference in the world to me. Everything I have is because of the Head Start. Today, the concept of Head Start, Early Head Start has expanded and envelops more than just giving children a chance. It takes a well-rounded approach to its program that includes everyone from prenatal children and toddlers to parents and caregivers. Head Start, Early Head Start is a holistic program that has positive impacts on the community. It incorporates family, health, education, and socialization in a comprehensive and productive program. There is a misconception about what Head Start and Early Head Start provide. Child care is just one of a number of components for both programs and the requirements ensure that everyone is involved. First, you must be employed at least 20 hours per week or are enrolled in school or job training. In addition, you could be eligible if you are homeless, a military family, receive public assistance, meet the federal poverty guidelines for income, or if you have a child with a learning disability. Children with disabilities are provided with individualized education plans and or individual family support plans. Children with special needs are given the same opportunities to participate in the classroom as other children. Also to qualify for the Head Start program, your child needs to be three years old before September 1st of the current school year. For the Early Head Start program, your child needs to be between six weeks and 23 months. The Expectant Parent program is for mothers in their first or second trimester. Since its inception, Hillsborough County Head Start has helped prepare over 80,000 income eligible children for kindergarten. Historically, one of the issues facing children from low-income families was lack of exposure to learning experiences. The curriculum used in Head Start is the nationally acclaimed DLM Early Childhood Express. For our Early Head Start program, we use the nationally recognized creative curriculum for infants and toddlers. They participate in activities indoors and out to help expand their socialization skills. Children are introduced to the concepts of words and numbers. Along with an enhanced emphasis on language and literacy, they build the educational foundation for kindergarten. I think that's the major thing is that we are partnering with these parents, we're partnering with the children, and we're talking and we're communicating so we can get to where we need to get, where, wherever that goal of that family could be. It could be just to get the child in so having some type of socialization with other children. They may already have all the steps already to get into kindergarten. Um, but I just think it's, it's giving them that resource, giving them that guidance um, so they could go and guide their child. We want our children to be ready for school. So when they come in here, they are learning social skills we are providing activities that are going to maximize their learning potential, um, including intellectual, physical, social, and emotional growth. You get that bonding with your child, and not only that, you get to see what they go through um, within the school year, and you see what they're learning, so you can kind of continue that at home. You know, if they're learning their ABCs this week, or if it's their one, two, threes, you can continue at home, not only you're helping your child, but you're helping out the Head Start teachers. When he comes home, he likes to keep going, you know, with different things that he does here at school. I'm like, where'd you get this from, you know? And he just picks up a lot more different things than what we do at home. Families come in all shapes and sizes. For this reason, Head Start and Early Head Start has a number of programs that are designed to engage all families, from single parents to multiple generation caregivers. 
When parents and families commit to Head Start, the journey begins with a single step, dedication. That means learning skills that not only enrich them as parents and caregivers, but also empower them in personal growth. HMI, Lilies, and HIM. These acronyms represent these family programs that were recognized by the Federal Administration for Children and Families as a strength for Hillsborough County Head Start. Healthy Marriage Initiative. While the name implies it's for married couples, it is actually for single parents, engaged, and married couples. Offering interactive workshops that promote healthy relationships for parents, marriages, and families, the HMI improves a child's well-being and in turn helps to build a healthy community. The workshops are offered throughout the year with food and free childcare offered at most sessions. But the facilitator was great and made us feel comfortable and it was real with us, you know, real life situations and really got into the real deal, like things that really go on in relationships. So it was very comfortable, everybody was open and really shared what their experiences were. And we really got a head start in planning for the future with relationships. Ladies interested in life involvement education and self-motivation. Running from October to June, Lilies enables women to grow through improved self-esteem and independence, as well as goal setting and improved relationships. This program is open to any female caregiver, including mothers, aunts, and grandmothers. By building on the power of themselves, women will strengthen their parenting skills, learn about wellness and nutrition, and gain the knowledge to access community resources. When we learned that we had similarities on um, our life experience and what we was going through, uh, we had uh, we wrote letters to ourselves and we were expecting a letter to come in in six months and see how we doing by then and hopefully all the stuff we wrote down from that time, it actually did, it's going to happen in the future. Oh, lilies. I love lilies. Um, it was such a soul searching, um, bonding with people that you don't know, telling them things that they wouldn't even guess. It was uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life. I enjoyed it. His involvement matters. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, a study concluded that children who have an involved father are more likely to be emotionally secure, be confident to explore their surroundings, and as they grow older, have better social connections with peers. It is with that spirit that Head Start's HIM program extends the involvement to include all males that play a part in the development of children, be it grandfathers, uncles, boyfriends, or friends. This monthly program includes training sessions and special events, such as trips to sports games and movies, all with the concept of interactive, positive relationships with the child at the forefront. The HEM program is, was, I think, is a vital part of Head Start because it, it gets a lot of men together that uh, typically you wouldn't get together. And we learn how to communicate better, like I said, with our kids, how to interact better with our spouses, significant others. We also learn that most men have the same struggle. We worry about the same things, you know, income, you know, relationships, all of that. And it, it, the great thing about it got us all together and we, we were like in a forum where we all discussed all of our issues and what's the best way to solve some of the problems that we're having. While Head Start's educational and development programs are very effective, as part of the well-rounded concept, they also assist with health care. A healthy groundwork must be laid for children to develop physically and mentally. All children in the program have health screenings and staff make sure that they also have a medical care provider. This includes making sure their physical and immunization records are current. Hillsborough County Head Start helps parents and caregivers get medical, dental, and mental health providers if they do not already have one. In addition to educational information given to parents, children enrolled in Head Start and Early Head Start receive a nutritious breakfast, lunch, and snack. Essentially, there is risks um, and benefits, of course, to nutrition and good health, dental care. Risk could include mental retardation, 
uh, cardiac issues, neurological issues, where it can cause speech, um, language, learning disabilities. The benefits of good nutrition um, is healthy eating habits, healthy hearts overall is going to allow our children um, to learn and have a better experience here at Head Start. Head Start and Early Head Start services are in demand, serving almost 4,000 children a year at 19 licensed centers. That is why qualified agency partnerships play an important part in the development process by providing many of the essential services in high demand areas and neighborhoods. One of the largest partners in the Head Start Early Head Start program is the Hillsborough County School Board, who is contracted to serve additional children at elementary school sites. The Tampa area YMCAs and Lutheran Services Florida serve early Head Start infants and toddlers through a family child care home option. Metropolitan Ministries and Easter Seals are contracted to provide child care services as licensed Head Start centers. All Head Start early Head Start centers must meet the federal performance standards to ensure that the objectives of the program are implemented successfully. We prepare them cognitively, academically, socially, emotionally, um, and we make sure that they're prepared with the skills that they need to be successful in kindergarten. We try and serve the community. So um, actually a few of my students live just two minutes up the block. And they're actually, you know, I know them through, you know, community work or, you know, walking down the street to the corner store. And I started 2010 and we're working very hard to help families who has to go to work or who has to go to school, do things to help them to, you know, to uh, teach their kids and the kids are very safe with us. And yes, yeah, it's a wonderful program. If you are interested in enrolling in Head Start, Early Head Start, or the Expectant Mother program, the first thing you need to do is fill out an application. Make sure to fill out all of the information. There are a number of things you will need to complete the application. Attach proof of total household income from all sources to the application and send copies of the following. Birth certificate, W-2 or tax return for the previous year last paycheck stubs, or letter from your employer with income information, school verification on school letterhead. Your application will be reviewed to make sure you qualify. If you qualify and then are accepted into one of the programs, you will be contacted with all of the details. Remember, the dedication doesn't stop at acceptance into the program. There are a number of ways that you can volunteer to help the children as well as the program. And anyone from the Hillsborough County community can help out. There is always a need for volunteers to help in the classroom or with administrative work. There are also six advisory boards associated with the Head Start program that help guide the future of the services. The Head Start Policy Council reviews new hires, policies, procedures, fiscal budgets, curriculum, and programs. I got involved with the Policy Council because I wanted to be able to give back to my child and volunteer, as well as I wanted to be a part of a board that was more than just like a PTA board. I saw how my child, how Head Start impacted her, how until this day she still remember the name of her teacher, some of the things that she's done, and she's always talking about it. And now she eats all kind of food that before she didn't like. And I thought to myself, you know, where would I make the most difference? And I figured at an earlier age when the kids are first coming into the program. What, what, what the Head Start showed me is how we move people. We take the parents and we move those parents to make better families. We just no work with children, we work with parents and we work with the staff. All of our centers are accredited by the National Association for the Education of Young Children, which promotes excellence in the education of young children by setting professional standards for early childhood education programs and helping families identify high quality programs for their young children. The National Head Start Association has granted us the Quality Initiative Award, which designates us as a program of excellence for the initiative, quality, and excellence standards that we follow for Head Start. The National Association of Counties Achievement Award, it represents the effective and innovative program that we have at Head Start that contributes to and enhances the county government nationally by promoting quality, efficient, and responsive management and administration. Head Start and Early Head Start is a five-time nationally recognized program of excellence. But it's not the awards that drive what we do. 
it's the dedication to helping children and families get a head start. For more information on Head Start Early Head Start programs, call us at 813-272-5140 or visit us online and fill out an application at hillsboroughcounty.org slash headstart.